Hello to all you beautiful people out there in the world. How you doing today? I am over here in the hilltop area over by Ross with my beautiful brother who is enjoying his, his time waiting to pick up his beautiful wife from work, Lewis. And Lewis got a lot to say, but we're going to try to keep it succinct because my memory is low and I don't have a lot of space. So I'm going to give Lewis about 10 minutes, 15 minutes to share with you beautiful people what kind words and a smile means to him. Lewis, talk to him like only you can. Well, my brother, hello, I'm Lewis. I believe that we all need to be united and love for each other. Stop this hate stuff because we all equal. We're children from the Lord. And I believe that we need to unite and help each other. Uh, my grandparents are immigrants to the country. I'm a United States citizen. Uh, fought for this country and I believe we all need to unite. It was difficult when my parents were in Europe and my grandparents during the Holocaust. And I believe that if we all unite, we all help each other and we all believe that we care or at least carry for each other, not believe, do it, we will have a better country. You know, stop all this bickering. We're all brothers and sisters through the hands of the Lord. Amen. Lewis, what would you say to encourage this younger generation coming up in, in this day and age with all the struggles and the toils, and toilings, and the sufferings, and the and the violent and, and violence, and all this discord that they have to face in this day and age, going through college, and 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 a lot of them are suicidal in this day and age. Something that we, you and I, you know, it was when we were coming up in our age was un, unheard of. What would you say to encourage this younger generation today who's struggling with such things as that? We need to listen. That's the major part. It's listen to op uh, advices, opinions. Mm -hmm. um, work with each other. Mm -hmm. If you see somebody that needs help, help them. Mm -hmm. Don't help because you're going to get something. Do it because you're doing it from the heart. That's because right. you love somebody. Because you want it. It, feels, it makes you feel good. The Lord gave his, his son to us you know, to protect and save our lives. Mm -hmm. What makes it hard for us to just turn around and help somebody else? Mm -hmm. I'm a United States postal worker. In my route, everybody loves me because I will stop and help you regardless of what my supervisor says mm -hmm. because it's about humanity, mm -hmm. not about money. Mm -hmm. And stop putting money before love and before your people. Well, Listen, sure. first of all, is um, call, uh, uh, in Spanish, Conocense Tres Veinte says, you know, uh, children, be obedient to your uh, parents. Mm -hmm. Because the Lord loves it. It's hijos sean obedientes a sus padres en todo, porque es muy agradable en el Señor. Just follow that, you know. And also, parents, you know, don't agitate your child, mm -hmm. but guide them. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not your slaves. You know, they're your children. Treat them with love and respect. Talk to them. Guide them, and that's the way you're going to try to get a lot of response. Mm -hmm. Let's back up a little bit over here, Lewis. Lewis, talk a little bit, bit about. What you share with me in terms of the good man and the good father figure that you are and how you took on the responsibility of um, defying the system by raising some beautiful adopted young people. Well, I fostered, first of all, um, Jed came to me and asked me if I could adopt his, his siblings and himself. I actually refused, um, fostered him. So I went to the foster program, but the foster program in the U.S. is not functional. It's about making money. So I end up having issues because each child had a different foster parent. I mean, excuse me, a uh, social worker. I speak four languages, so sometimes I get confused. So each, parent, each child has a different social worker with a different attorney. So it's very hard to get unite these two social workers, three or four or five, to tr work together because they all have their own way and their own thoughts. So for me, instead of going through that crap, I went ahead and just adopted him and made him mine. It, and then the judge told me very closely, said, you sure you want to do this? Because you're not going to get paid and you're going to bring him right back to the system. I said it wasn't going to happen. I didn't believe in doing it for the money. I believe by, by doing it for, for me and for, the, uh, for the, the child. Now they're not my, my foster children. They're my children. I adopted them. They're mine. I don't have foster grandchildren. They're my grandchildren. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not about... And keep in mind that each one has the different one. One of them, and I'm not going to say name for the privacy, but um, one of them had, you know, is married to a brother. It's a really nice one. One is married to a young Mexican person. Another one is married to a Native American. Mm -hmm. So they're all we're a united family. 
Okay. When my grandfather was part of the underground French resistance in Spain as a Basque, he wasn't doing it. He was not Jewish. He was doing it for the freedom of the people. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to do. Mm -hmm. We need freedom here. We don't need to be policed. What we need is peace officers to work with us. Mm -hmm. You know, Marines, Army, when you're abroad, you police the streets abroad. Somalia or wherever country you're at, Iran, Afghanistan, wherever you're at. Here, become peace officers. And the young brothers and sisters, us, us young folks, we need to stop you know, trying to challenge people. We need to just listen a little bit and try to learn. Mm -hmm. That's what my, my opinion, because if we do that, we're gonna have a lot of love among each other. Mm -hmm. That's very beautiful. Now, Lewis, you said something about if um, if you're uncomfortable with talking about it, don't talk about it. But if you're OK with sharing it with the world, share with the world a little bit about that your past history, what you shared with me regarding your grandfather and your grandmother. I thought that was interesting. Well, I have in, in my blood Spaniard, Portuguese, French, Salvadorian, um, African, you know, and we're all together and we're all one family. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, there's no, you know, it's what's in here is what counts, mm -hmm. not what's out here. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's, I think that we need all to unite and work with, to, with mm -hmm. each other. Very beautiful. <laughs> very, very beautiful. You know, beautiful people out there in the world, like often as I tell you beautiful people, I never know from day to day what my life is going to be like, what experiences I'm going to have, what people I'm going to be blessed to embark upon having these experiences with. And I, I said today, you know, you know, I'm due for an interview because as you all who watch my videos well know, I haven't had an in interview in, in I think it's a couple of weeks or so. And I said, if I don't get an interview today, I'm going to just shoot a personal video and I'm going to talk to you beautiful people today because I love for the, the, the community, society to interact with you beautiful people as opposed to just me myself. Lewis came up to the car and we've been sitting here talking for what about 30 minutes or so? Probably more, of it, more than an hour. Probably yeah it's been a while so as I was getting ready to, uh, to leave because I'm thinking look look at the time I need to go eat I haven't eaten all day and so I'm saying to myself then it, then it occurred to me Lewis is standing right here and he's full of knowledge and information let me interview Lewis. <laughs> well, you know, my brother, the Lord is the one who did this. The yes. Lord trying to have his hand on your vehicle and guide it to, you, to me. Yes. So we ended up speaking. And we had that other brother that came up that ended up, we ended up speaking to. Yes. It's the good Lord. It's God that unites us. We need, like I said, we need to stop bickering. We need to be together. I believe that if we start paying attention to each other and stop stopping people, you know, if a person comes up and, and starts saying something, don't argue with the person. Stop and say, okay, or listen to the problems. There's a lot of times I have, I'm delivering mail and I have people that come up to me and they want to share a problem. I'm on a, I'm on a schedule. I need to deliver that mail. But I can't just stop and walk away because what if that person is suicidal? Mm -hmm. Okay, so just let that person give you this information and then you go, thank you. You give a little bit of your opinion mm -hmm. and then you go. But just don't shut people off and say, I don't want to talk to you and walk away. Mm -hmm. That's the American way. And we got to stop that because that was never the American way. Just this is the modern away. American way. Just threw that person away. You know, and now it's about this and not this. Mm -hmm. We need to stop that. Mm -hmm. Because if you want to look at it, Jesus Christ gave his life for us. Mm -hmm. Okay. And a lot of you folks out there that don't believe in that, look at the Bible and then talk to us. Mm -hmm. May God bless all of you guys. May the Lord hold you, save you, and love you. Tell them you love them too, Lord. I love you too, my brothers and sisters out there. I love you all. To all you beautiful people out there in the world, there's nothing else left for me to say to follow up on that. Lewis covered it all. He, he touched on it all, and he shared with you all it all. To all you be beautiful people out there in the world, if nobody told you they love you today, we love, love you. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> we love you. We love you. We all love you all. <laughs> and have a beautiful smiling night. May the night shine bright. <laughs>